this is Summon with the Kelly at summonwithakelly.com. In my part, in my post today, I would like to encourage you to be an entrepreneur as opposed to being a job seeker. Opportunities for entrepreneurs has never been better or greater. Africa is one place that the problem that the that the ground is fatter. In terms of economics, the last 10 years have probably been the best years Africa has ever experienced in its entire history. Africa has grown in leaps and bounces. The growth surprised the world and caused the continent to be elevated onto an economic pedestal and ushered into, it into a limelight that has attracted the attention of international investors. Here are two pieces of information to drive home the point. Out of 10 fastest growing economies in the world, seven of them, seven of them were from Africa or African countries. During the past 10 years, the gross domestic product of 11 largest sub-Saharan countries increased by a whopping 51%. The world's GDP grew by only 23%. GDP of USA, the world's largest economy, expanded by only 13% over the same period. Okay, there are political instabilities and governance issues here and there, but no doubt Africa is far, by far, for sure, the most exciting place to be on the surface of this earth. Everybody wants to invest in Africa. Everyone wants a piece of the action. The future is also looking just as bright. This is a good, and I'm excited here. I'm, I'm excited too. However, I have, I have some concerns. Despite the impressive economic growth Africa has enjoyed over the past 10 years, the paradox is that I still see poverty. It's as rampant as it, it has always been. Unemployment is widespread. Increased crime rates, health issues, substandard housing and sprawling slums substandard public transport system. The difference between the rich and the poor has never been wider. So, it begs the question, who is benefiting from this economic growth? Let's start with you. Have you benefited? Maybe you have, but I think you could be in the minority. Let's take the example of the great nation of Kenya. I have some statistics here, right behind me that tell me a different story, that tell me the majority of Kenyans are not enjoying. 216 Fine Access Household Reports has indicated that 57.3% of Kenyans take credit for purposes of meeting their day-to-day -day needs. Food, that kind of thing. And the source is money from shopkeepers, friends, relatives, shop, uh, churches. 90.3% of hardworking Kenyans earn less than $300 a month. 8% of hardworking Kenyans earn between $300 and $900. Only 1% earn more than $900 a month. You cannot earn $900 a month and claim to be doing well. Something is definitely wrong. I personally believe most are not benefiting and probably not will not because the mindset is still stuck in the old formula that worked for our grandparents. Go to school, get a final, get, get a formal education, pass your exams, get a job, get married, have children, live, live happily thereafter. Ladies and gentlemen, that formula was broken a long time ago. It doesn't work anymore, not in the 21st century. How many people do you know who worked at a job for 40 years and upon retirement have nothing to show for it? Statistics indicate 95% of retirees are either dead or dead broke. It's time to break out of this antiquated notion of a job and embrace the evolutionary changes and not be blind to opportunities the 21st century has blessed upon us. Let me go back to my previous question. So who is benefiting from this economic boom? Somebody is. I can guess who? Business people, investors, entrepreneurs, call them whatever you want. People who have decided to create their own economies. People who do not rely on an employer being told what to do. People who do not put their future in the hands of the corporation. People who do not rely on the government. 
people who have taken responsibility for their own lives. When I mention entrepreneur or investor, I'm sure many of us conjure up images of these super rich people with bags of cash to invest. Most successful entrepreneurs never start like that. Anyone can be an entrepreneur. You don't have to have money to be an entrepreneur. You can start with nothing and work your way up the economic ladder. For those of you who are serious, have big dreams, hardworking, focused, and aspire to become entrepreneurs, but have challenges raising the prerequisite capital to get started, may I suggest the following business model that can set you up as an entrepreneur. Network marketing. Yes, that's what I said. Network marketing. Network marketing, although legal and legitimate, is probably the most misunderstood business concept. Network marketing is a legal and legitimate business model. It provides people with real, usually high, high quality, well-researched, legitimate products that they need and want at a fair price. It's a very serious business for serious people. To make a lot of money in network marketing as a business owner, or indeed in any business, you need to be dedicated, focused, hardworking, and consistent in building your organization. Your organization will comprise of other hardworking entrepreneurs who move real products to consumers. Each entrepreneur then multiplies his whole efforts, skills, and talents by helping others become successful. You simply cannot succeed in network marketing unless you help other entrepreneurs also become successful. It's not a business for lazy or egoistic or self-centered people. You need to be a people's person. Network marketing has come, has come of age and proved itself as part of the new economy. As you watch this, thousands of people, millions of people somewhere in the world are enrolling as business owners with their preferred network marketing entity. Network marketing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. Having said that, I know leaders in my team who went from zero to over $5,000 a month in less than six months. You cannot approach it with a short-term mentality. You need to give it a game plan of no less than five years. Success in network marketing is all about applying a very simple duplicatable system and, and, and observing certain key principles. The real key is this. Network marketing is all about time leverage. You can leverage your time and increase the number of hours of work effort in which you can be paid by sponsoring other people and earning a small income on their efforts. Jay Paul Getty, who created one of the world's greatest fortunes, said, I would rather make 1% on the efforts of 100 people than 100% on my own efforts. This very basic concept is a cornerstone of network marketing. For example, more successful people building a network marketing business do so in an organized method. They work a few dedicated hours each week, with each hour of effort serving as a building block for their long-term business growth. Then they sponsor other people and teach those people how to sell the company's products and sponsor others who duplicate the process. By helping the people you personally sponsor to sponsor others, you duplicate yourself. As this process continues, you create compound growth that can lead to hundreds or even thousands of people coming into your organization. You, lever you, you leverage your time by helping others be successful and earn an income from all their efforts. Unlike conventional business, in network marketing there are no capital requirements. You can get started with as little as $150. There are no inventories, no overheads, no employees, no bureaucratic red tape no geographical limitations. Network marketing is a powerful business that can change your life beyond recognition. It has realistic potential to earn 
you an above, an, an above average income. It gives you time to enjoy your money. It's a business that enables you to travel and have fun as well as enjoy the lifestyle that only high net worth individuals enjoy. If you're a dreamer like me, a hard worker, that's looking for a good income, time and lifestyle, network marketing could be your only viable option. If you find value in this information, in this post, please click on the link below or send me a, or send me a comment. Feel free to share the post with your friends, colleagues, um, and, and, and neighbors. Until next time, have a good evening or day or whatever, wherever you are in the world. And see you in my next post. Take care.